when I bought the van, it actually came with this inverter. It's connected to the batteries of the van. So I decided to keep it. But the only problem is when I'm traveling with Max, he likes to run, jump on it to get into his seat. So I built this little box. The box was made from scrap 2x3s and OSB wood and then wrapped in gray carpet to match the interior. On the left, we left a gap to access the emergency brake, then drilled two holes, one in the front and one in the back. So these USBs come with three ports to charge it and you can turn it on and off. Then it's got a cover. It came with the wires and then on the positive end, it actually comes with a fuse that's inside there. And to lock this into place, you get a plastic nut. And you don't need any tools. You can just screw that right on. We're going to cut off the connection pieces that they had. And we're going to use bullet connectors. Now we got our USBs connected in there with our wires that have our fuses in there. We got two of them. So we have six ports that we can charge from. And now we'll go ahead and just connect it to our wires that we've already ran off of our 12 volt fuse box. So this is just one positive line coming and we put the T-splice on and we're able to add in a second positive line. Same with the negative. So now we got all of our wires connected correctly. We can go ahead and put this in place and you can see I left plenty of room for the wires. So in case I need to pull this out or do anything like that, it's not a chore to do it. You can see it's lit up on. That one's lit up and on, and like I said, you can turn them off, turn them on, just for this guy, so he can get up into the front seat. As you see here, I can still access the inverter that's connected to the van battery. But I hardly ever use this one, but I do use this a lot. This one up front, I use all the time, and the cord for my iPhone can actually go from here all the way up to here so if I'm traveling I don't have to worry about the battery growing dead. Yeah.